Hey guys, Matt, Iron Trap Garage, and today we're gonna start working finally on our little Track T project that we got a while ago. So for anybody that doesn't remember, we picked this car up in Missouri. Um, it was an old time uh, circle track car, a real Track T from the 40s, 50s, and uh, the majority of the parts were actually still with the car, and we're hoping to return the car back to a version of its former glory, if you will, maybe just a little bit safer. Um, and uh, I sent the stuff, basically the chassis, and the main body section off to be blasted by my buddy Brooke at Brooks Hot Rods. Um, and we've just had a stash most of the winter in the, or in the trailer waiting to uh, make some room in the shop. So now that the shop is much more organized, we have things freed up. So we're gonna pull this out of the trailer, move our chassis table inside, start taking some measurements, and hopefully we're getting this chassis at least one step closer to being solid again. So let's get started. Seen it, it, it tweaked yeah, it. They, they stopped it in the wall. Yeah. And went, oh, it's yeah. Actually straight. Yeah. I can't believe it. That's blows my mind. All right, so we got the chassis on the table, and we just did a quick. Uh, cross measurement, and surprisingly, this thing is not racked. I, I can't believe it because um, you would think with having no center cross member and the big engine and not boxed, it would be a problem, but it actually all measured. We basically took these holes that were factory holes in the front and then went back to some other factory holes on the uh, rear cross member, and everything measured out pretty good. So, realistically, if we lock this down on the table, um, we should be able to just kind of start building up from there and just repairing it. So first thing is I'm going to change a couple things on this car. We're going to try and make this thing a little more drivable. I might, fingers crossed, make it sort of road legal. Um, so big thing is trying to get the ergonomics better on this car. Uh, I think it was probably very uncomfortable to drive and just they weren't thinking about that. They just threw it together. So number one, your feet sat way down in here, um, which uh, is okay. but. Uh, it's just kind of sketchy and I didn't really like it. So we're gonna cut that off uh, first and then we can get the chassis fixtured down. So usually what I do on these with the rear cross member is I use this bar here and we raise and lower it depending on what we're doing. Um, right now it's sitting pretty low for like a, a small like Tardell type step. Um, so we're gonna have to raise this up because the step is a lot bigger. So we'll get that in and then I usually lock this cross member in right here and then we line up our center mark of course with the center bolt hole in the spring or cross member for the spring um, and then in the front we'll put you can see i got a bunch of spots where we had box tubing uh, for other chassis probably 32 over there or maybe mics and we'll do something else there we'll have to leave them alone probably move them back here so that's our work on first getting this all fixtured then we can start cutting into it and welding and um, going from there so a little bit of cutting and grinding to start off the day.
I'll pick up. So we got a lot of the brackets and extra stuff cut off of the frame, uh, ground down some of the pieces that were in the way basically, and that uh, we kind of have a frame that is pretty much squared up surprisingly and leveled. We had to put some shims and things to kind of tweak the frame just enough to get everything level, but we basically welded these braces on and kind of keep the side of the frame straight. Um, we just added some pieces here. And now we have a kind of level square frame while still keeping the shittiness to it, which is good. The whole idea with everything here. Um, just good to have the frame locked in on the table and kind of uh, we could start moving forward hopefully. Mm -hmm.
All right, so we got all our boxing plates cut, and uh, we were luckily we had the Evolution circular saw, so it made it super simple. So we got those all um, made, and the back side here that you see, Coral went ahead and painted these with rust encapsulator. So those are all sealed up. And while he was doing that, I had brushed uh, rust encapsulator all on the inside there, so everything's all sealed up. And now we could start clamping these in place. And then I'll just sand the edges where we're gonna weld. And since everything's locked down on the table, I can just start working my way around. And I got probably a couple hours of welding here, but this thing's gonna be very solid very soon. Just pretty exciting. So we got the, uh, the frame all welded up. I just quickly dressed uh, some of the welds and knocked a little bit of surface rust off the uh, boxing plates that are on the inside of the frame here. Um, obviously we had sprayed everything and brushed everything with Eastwood Rust Encapsulator uh, before I started welding it all. So it is all nice and sealed up. Uh, I left a lot of these original holes in the frame. We can take some Eastwood internal frame coating in there as well. Spray some of that in after we're done all of our welding and that will take care of any spots where the paint might have burned where we did some welding. So uh, now that this is all welded up, it's pretty cool. Uh, after like one video, we can cut it off of the frame, uh, frame table and we can start putting this on the ground, make it, uh, make it a roller, and we can start working on setting up like our engine and trans uh, position and make our engine and trans mounts and start uh, fresh and get everything sitting where we want it to sit. So uh, good progress on the little uh, track T and uh, hopefully we'll continue to work on this through the summer and maybe by the end of the summer we'll uh, have this thing looking like a cool old race car again. So thank you guys for following along, appreciate it. Catch you later.